and welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome to my channel I really really quickly just want to apologize for the background noise if you can hear a lot of background noise it's probably because of the rain it is pouring outside right now but I really really want to film this video for you guys so I can get it up so I apologize for that I'm sorry but in this video I am doing a first impressions and review on the NYX total cover foundation I've only done one first impressions and review on my channel before and it was for the Clinique Chubby in the Nude Foundation Stick, I believe it's called. And that was one of my most viewed videos which I thought was really cool. So I thought I would bring you guys another first impressions and review on a foundation and I'm really really excited to do this one because it's quite different. It's a different foundation. So I will firstly give you guys a little bit of a description on what this foundation is like, what it's about and what it claims to do. So that is just what the box looks like. It's just the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. And it is supposed to be a kind of moderate coverage foundation, but then you can build up. So it says two drops gives it a light coverage. Three drops is medium coverage and for a full coverage, you can use four drops. So that is just what the bottle looks like. As you can see, it's really, really tiny. It's only 13 mils, which is very small for a foundation because a stand foundation is 30 mils. But yes, that is just what the bottle looks like. It comes with a little dropper and it is super cute. It has frosted glass as well, which I think is quite nice. And also the shade that this is in is 06 Vanilla, which is the third lightest shade. So there are nine shades in the Total Control Foundation. I don't know if the US or any other country has more but in Australia there will be nine shades releasing and it is getting released in May that's when it comes out and they are also coming out with a brush which I don't have the brush with me but that is also coming out in May as well and both the foundation and the brush will retail for $24.95 so as I said this foundation does come out in May the reason why I already have this is because I do work at Priceline and I got to go to a Priceline beauty event, which there was quite a few different makeup brands. NYX was one of them, and we got given this foundation, which was awesome. So as soon as I got it, I was like, I need to do a first impressions on this because I am really excited to try it out. So I'm just going to read a little bit about what it says and all of that. So it says, from sheer to full, your ideal coverage is just drops away with our new Total Control Drop Foundation available in 24 buildable shades so there you go it's available in 24 shades except australia i believe is only getting nine that it says on here so obviously other countries will be getting more shades but we are only getting nine here in australia then says fine tune the silky smooth matte foundation with the included dropper and expertly expertly buff using our custom total control drop foundation brush which is an angled synthetic brush that curves inward slightly, which allows it to fit around the natural curves of the face and in those hard to reach spots. And then the pro tip just says, begin prepping a moisturized face with our Angel Bell Primer to create an even canvas and increase longevity, followed by applying one to two drops of Total Control Drop Foundation for a light coverage look. Gently buff into the skin by using our Total Control drop foundation brush starting from the center of the face and working your way outwards in circular motions add three to five drops for increased coverage so that is basically how it works what it says about it as i said i don't have the brush so i'm just going to be using my real techniques expert face brush to buff the foundation in and i'll show you what the actual NYX brush looks like. So I don't know if you guys can see but that is just what the brush looks like. As you can see it has an angled shape to it and yeah it just looks like that. So at the training what the lady did she had the NYX brush and she dropped about like one to two drops of the foundation on the actual brush. So I'm going to do that I guess. Um, this is just what it looks like. Ooh, it's very liquidy. It's not a thick foundation at all. It's very, very liquidy. I also apologize for the lighting because it's raining. It's getting really dark and then it gets really sunny. And I'm trying to use natural lights at the moment, but 
Yep, sorry. So I'm just going to drop two drops. I'm going to do four drops, actually. Mm. Now I'm just going to buff it into my skin. So the product has literally disappeared. It's like completely gone. So I'm going to try dropping it on my actual face and then blend it out because maybe this brush just isn't right for it. I'm just going to maybe do that. Oh, this is really difficult. Oh my gosh. That's about to run into my eyebrow. Oh. Okay, so as you can see, it is a very runny, liquidy foundation. It's very light on your skin, that's like my first impression. It is very light on your skin, like it doesn't feel very thick or anything, probably because it is such a liquidy consistency. So it does feel really nice. I'm going to try and put a little bit on my eye area. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's quite a bit of redness and like quite a few veins on my eyelid. So I'm going to see how well it can cover them. So all I did was just wipe my finger on the end of the little dropper. And I'm going to just put it on my lid like that. I'm just going to use my finger to blend this actually. It feels really nice. It definitely feels very velvety. It's like a velvety matte finish. I really, really like it so far. It seems to build quite well as well. You know how some foundations, if you build them up, they start to get quite cakey looking. And this isn't looking cakey at all. Also, I'm looking in my mirror, if you guys are wondering where I'm looking. This is a really good colour for me as well, in the shade Vanilla. I'm really liking the colour. I'm also going to apply some just underneath my eye area, to see if it covers any darkness. I don't have really bad dark circles, but I do have a little bit of darkness. Oh, that covered really nicely. Ooh. I don't know if you guys can see that, but as you can see, there's quite a bit of darkness here, whereas this side, there's still a little bit, but I only did use a tiny little bit. It definitely makes you look a lot more awake. So that is just what my face looks like right now. As you saw, I used the brush and I also used my finger with the foundation, especially around my eye area and specifically on my blemishes. Your finger does work a lot better because you can get better pigment that way. I believe it would be better if you did have the NYX brush because obviously the brush has been specifically made to use with the drop foundation. So you'll probably get a lot better coverage that way. Whereas I was just using my Real Techniques one so it's probably not as dense. But that is just what it looks like. I still really like the finish of it. It's really good coverage. As you can see I had quite a few blemishes that were a bit red there and they are like pretty much completely covered. I absolutely love it. It feels really good. Like it doesn't feel sticky at all. It dries very quickly, but it's not super quick drying where you can't blend it. Like it blends so beautifully and it is a beautiful matte finish. I do have combination oily skin by the way as well. I forgot to say that in the beginning. So this is what it's like on combination oily skin, but it's going to be different for everyone. This is just my personal opinion on it. I really love the finish. I love matte finish foundations. So this is incredible so far. I love it. Wow, I can't stop looking in the viewfinder. I think it looks so nice. As you can see, I still do have that. There's like a little freckle thing, whatever. Um, that thing's like impossible to cover. I've like never been able to fully cover it because just it won't. I hate it so much. I'm probably gonna get it removed soon to be completely honest. But yeah, that is just what it looks like. I'm really, really happy with it. I'm quickly going to chuck on some 
Other than makeup, I'm just going to put on some translucent powder and a little bit of mascara on my lashes and that is it. I'm not really doing that much today and I'm really happy with this makeup look anyway so I don't need concealer or anything. I'm just going to quickly do that and come back. Okay, so now I'm back. As I said, all I did was just put on some translucent face powder so it hasn't changed the coverage or the color of the foundation at all. So that way I'll be able to see if it does oxidize at all throughout the day. And I just chucked on some mascara as well because I feel weird not wearing mascara. So yes. So it is currently 9.32, so about 9.30. I will come back in a few hours, probably around 3 o'clock or 4, somewhere around there. So I will talk to you guys then. Hey guys, I am now back and it is now 3.32, so it's exactly 6 hours since I last spoke to you guys. And this is what my foundation looks like. Don't mind my hair, it's a mess now because it's been like 6 hours. But this is what my face looks like. That's the foundation. I don't know if you guys can see, but I feel like it has kind of come off on my eye area because I did put foundation there. I feel like that may have come off a little bit, which is fine anyway because you don't exactly put foundation on your eyes anyway. The rest of my face still looks pretty good. I feel like around my mouth area, it may have come off a little bit. That's probably because I was leaning on my hand earlier today. Like, had my hand like that, so around my mouth it has come off a little bit. On my forehead, it still looks perfectly fine. As you can see, my oil has come through a little bit. It's not as matte as when I first applied it. It's a little bit more dewy looking, I guess. You can kind of see the shine, but it doesn't feel oily. It still feels pretty matte. And it's not like overly oily, you know, so I do still really like the finish. I think everywhere else has lasted pretty well. It hasn't really creased around my nose area or anything. So I just zoomed you guys in a little bit closer so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, kind of like there and here and whatever. But yeah, I think everywhere else looks pretty fine. Maybe a little bit came off of my cheek there, maybe, but the rest of it looks fine. It's still really good coverage. So overall, my thoughts on this foundation, I would say it is good. I definitely recommend it, although it is only 13 mils for $24.95, which is a little bit pricey for a 13 mil foundation. Um, you do need a little bit of it. You don't need to use a lot of it, but to get decent coverage, as it says, you do need like four to five drops. Um, I did use quite a few drops to get the coverage that I have, but then again, I don't have the actual brush. So maybe if you do have the actual NYX drop foundation brush, you won't need to use as much product because it's specifically made for this foundation. But other than that, I really like the way it lasted. I love the finish. It is definitely a matte finish, so if you're into matte finish foundations, I definitely recommend checking this one out. I have combination oily skin. It still looks fine even though it is a little bit like dewy-ish up there. But it definitely doesn't look oily. Like it just looks a bit dewy. So yeah, I definitely recommend this one. When this runs out, I would probably repurchase it. It's definitely not my favorite foundation. But it's definitely not the worst foundation that I've tried. So yes, I do recommend it. And I really, really like it. As I said earlier this morning... When I was talking to you guys, there are 24 shades, so there will most probably be a shade to match your skin tone exactly. And Australia is only getting 9 of them shades, I believe, but there are still quite a few different ones. So I'm sure you'll be able to mix and match and get one that is perfectly your shade. I will have all of the information and the prices and when it's available and all of that down in the description box. So if you want to find out a little bit more information or you can't remember what I said, just go down to the description box and it will all be down there. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I also want to thank you all for getting me to 57 subscribers. I am honestly so thankful. I know I said this in my last video, but it means the world to me. So thank you for that. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And also leave a comment down below on what video you guys would like to see next. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.